Colonel Marion, sir. Stuff is burning four to five miles to the east. One of Banaster Tarleton's patrols must have reached the widow Richardson's house and set it ablaze. That is his usual pattern to burn and destroy. Well, I think we have him now. I want everybody to be prepared to move against him in 15 minutes. Colonel Marion, sir, someone's approaching. See who it is, Micah. Yes, sir. Richardson. I'm a captain in the Continentals. I'm looking for Colonel Marion. All right, follow me, sir. Colonel Marion, sir. I'm Richard Richardson, a captain in the Continentals. I've recently been paroled because I contracted smallpox at a prison camp in Charleston. Captain, I knew your father well. I was distressed to learn about his death. What's the situation at your home? Well, that's what I've come to warn you of, sir. Banaster Tarleton is there, in full force with his whole legion, and I believe two field pieces. From what I can gather, he has about a hundred cavalry and over three hundred infantry. That's more than double the size of my force. Is he aware of my location? An informer has apprised him of your location, your plans, and your numbers. He is awaiting you to make your move. And he also has people who know the countryside well. Then my position here is no longer safe. I'll take on Bloody Tarleton, but at a more secure position, and when I've had a chance to wear him out. We'll see just how well they do know the countryside. Master Talton trailed Marion for seven hours through 26 miles of swamps and woods without stopping. Francis Marion always managed to stay just ahead of these determined pursuers. Then at Ox Swamp, a branch that flows into the Pocataligo River about 23 miles above King Street, Talton halted. Come, my boys. Let us go back and we will find the game cock. But as for this damned old fox, the devil himself could not catch it. 